I'll be happy to answer your question. Um, you have to look at where the potential for increased production is. And although there is potential in all countries, the largest potential is in Africa. Uh, and uh, Africa lags seriously behind in terms of productivity. It has tremendous potential. But in order to make it happen, uh, is, uh, you need a series of uh, both technical as well as institutional innovations. Um, I would say the institutional innovations are probably more important than the technical innovations because technologies already exist on the shelf to increase agricultural productivity in Africa. Of course, there are other regions where the technical um, uh, improvements and the yields could increase. Uh, and uh, these are going to happen anyway because of the current sort of momentum of the technical, uh, 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 the technical upgrading of agriculture. You asked about um, uh, GMOs. I'm not an expert on GMOs, but everything that I have read from the scientific community points to the fact that GMOs are not dangerous and that the reaction to GMOs is mostly a consumer reaction and based on what one may call excessive information. So I would say yes, let's go with GMOs. It's good for producers, it's good for consumers. And so far nobody has died from any GMO and it's been around for 15, 20 years. So what is wrong with that? And I'm not saying that to you, I'm saying that to my colleagues in Europe as well, because Europeans are much more uh, sort of uh, sensitive about this issue. Actually, the solutions to the short-term crisis are easy, um, uh, but because of the lack of emergency, the, it's not in the, uh, as you say, in the, in the, in the priorities of governments. Um, the cost of um, instituting uh, short-term food safety nets of two or three types, as I mentioned uh, uh, in the lecture, it's actually quite small. We have done calculations and it's actually quite small. Now, why it is not happening? I would say one thing is the priority thing from the developed country viewpoint. However, what I would suggest is that the developing countries in their various fora, they should push the developed countries to do those things. And they are not that expensive. I mean, they have allocated already a lot of money for agricultural development to do a little bit more for this type of things, the safety net, would not cost very much and would be very, very helpful in a time of crisis. And as I said, a time of crisis will come again. Well, when you say resources, you probably have in mind only public resources, but there is a lot more private resources. And if agriculture is profitable, private sector is going to involve. So that's the way to increase the resources, is basically utilize private capital, not only public capital. Now, to utilize private capital, of course, it has to become profitable to invest in agriculture. But that's not a problem. There is a lot of profit to be made in agriculture in certain technologies and under certain conditions. So I don't see that a problem, except uh, to let the private sector also operate alongside the public sector. Don't be very uh, dogmatic about the public sector, okay?